here as the Wolverines beat the uh, Illinois Fighting Illini. This one bigger stakes here for the win. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Facing a four-man rush over the middle, it's intercepted! Picked off by Tony Adams! Adams on the run! Breaking tackles! Pass down! Inside the 10! No sacks by the defense at all, they've handled him. No sacks at San Francisco either, and here it is! Right on cue, Parsons! His first, the Cowboys first, and what a time for it! First sack of the night, Herbert gets rid of it and he's picked! Intercepted by the Cowboys! The catch is good! Easy go! Baby, 49ers thought they were indestructible. The Eagles thought they were indestructible, but no, not anymore. Ooh, let me go lose to the Jets. Let me go lose to the Browns. No more undefeated teams this season, baby. And you guys, you guys thought that that's it, right? You know, they beat the Cowboys. 49ers are the best. They're never going to lose. They're going to go undefeated. They lost to the Browns. You know what I mean? And the Eagles, they lost to the Jets, bro. We blew out the Jets. Cowboys, baby. I don't want to hear nothing. No one want to hear no 49ers better in the comments. I don't want to hear the Eagles better in the comments. But yo, 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 how's it going, guys? It's your boy, Ricky the Killer, back at it again with another video. And today, we're going to go ahead and go through my week seven uh, picks for the NFL. Uh, but crazy crazy things happen in week six guys as you can tell eagles lost 49ers lost against teams that they have no reason losing to and, and they lost it comes to show that the freaking nfl football there's never one clear decisive you know unless you're you know kansas city with intercepting your stadium right but other than that everything else is kind of like like, you never know what's going to happen, you know what I mean? Like, the football gods kind of sprinkle in some randomness, random things in there every once in a while. But uh, the Cowboys won. You guys already know that. Freaking Micah Parsons clutch sack. And then Gilmore with the clutch in her, uh, pick. That's it, bro. We sealed the game. It was an ugly game. I'm not going to lie. And I think we probably, I'm pretty sure we lost that that uh, pre, the warm-up, that fight, the little skirmish that they had. I'm pretty sure we lost it, you know what I mean? But I think I think that's just the fire they needed to freaking come in and, and, and you know, win. You know what I mean? The Cowboys won. Hey, we're 4-2. We're I'm uh, kind of pretty bummed that uh, there's a bye week this week, and I'm not going to watch a lot of football just because I, I usually just watch the Cowboys. But I'll watch, I'll watch some of these games. There's some really good games, actually, some really, really good games coming in. But let's just go ahead and start uh, with just a uh, Thursday night game. It uh, already happened, guys. Of course, you guys know I record these on Sunday morning. Uh, I'm more than likely would have picked uh, a Jacksonville to win, so I'm going to go ahead and take that one. Uh, moving on, we got the uh, Raiders versus the Bears. Um, I'm going to give it to the Raiders on that one. Uh, I'm not going to be paying too much attention to that one. I don't even think I can see that game. It's out of my market. So, uh, But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we got the Bills versus the Patriots. You guys already know my man Josh Allen. He's gonna come in uh, and win it. He's also my fantasy team. You guys know that, so it's just uh, uh, hopefully he can give me a lot of points there. Uh, moving on, we got the Falcons versus uh, Buccaneers. Give it to Buccaneers with uh, Baker Mayfield. Uh, we got the Cardinals versus Seattle. I'm giving it to Seattle. The Chargers versus Kansas. Uh, Kansas City. I'm gonna go and give it to Kansas City there. Uh, then we have the Monday night uh, game, which is going to be San Francisco versus the Vikings. This is going to be a very good game. Uh, I'm thinking two, you know, high-powered offenses. Uh, I'm pretty sure the defense of the 49ers is, is going to 
you know, limit the offense of the Vikings. But uh, that's, I mean, it's going to be a really good game regardless. I'm going to give it to the 49ers on that one, though. I think they bounce back. And uh, even though they lost to the Browns, I think it was more of a the missed field goal, guys. I mean, they got they got there, but the missed field goal, pretty funny, though. Uh, moving on, we got the uh, Lions versus Baltimore. Give it to the Lions on that one. Lions really looking like contender, guys. I've already said it. I've said it a couple times already. Lions are looking kind of good. Uh, then we got the Browns versus Colts. Give it to the Browns. I think they... I mean, freaking Miles Garrett. I don't know if you've guys seen that highlight where uh, freaking Miles Garrett is like switching sides and they're literally rotating or motioning two tight ends to his side. It's hilarious, guys. He's a beast. He's a different animal. Crazy. Uh, moving on, we got uh, Commanders versus New York. Give it to the Commanders on that one. I think uh, they're just a little bit better. Uh, but it, it's going to be real tight. I mean, it's an NFC, you know, NFC East. So we just got to. We just got to see what happens there. Uh, then we got the Steelers versus the Rams. Give it to the Rams. Uh, then we have the Packers versus Broncos. Going to give it to the Packers on that one. And then this is also going to be a very, very good game. Miami versus Philadelphia. Going to give it to Miami. I don't think uh, I don't think Philadelphia, I don't think they're, they can rally. You know what I mean? They, I mean, they just lost against New York in an embarrassing fashion with that pick or that pick there at the end, uh, and I think I think uh, Miami's gonna steamroll them as far as their their offense goes. So very very good. I mean they're both very good teams. Like I said, I think uh, that Philadelphia lost. I think it, it kind of showed us their true colors a little bit uh, that they're definitely beatable. Uh, they're definitely not indestructible. But they're both very, very good teams. Uh, so we just gotta, I'm just going to go and give it to Miami just because I hate the Eagles. But, uh, of course, Cowboys, bye week. Didn't get to talk too much about them. But hopefully uh, after that win, hopefully they take, they take this week off. Hopefully they can go ahead and come back next week, week eight, and uh, pick up right where they left off with another dub. But, uh, guys, these are going to be my week seven picks for this year. Uh, let me know. Go, let me know if you guys agree, and let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the Eagles and the 49ers losing. Uh, Cowboys haters, let me know what you guys think about the Cowboys winning. But hopefully, you guys' this team wins this week. Uh, Cowboys don't play, so I don't care if the Cowboys win this week or not. But we'll see you guys next time. Peace.